Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick RAC005 Editing the Profile of a Wall. The purpose of the Tip and Trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk, then please contact Customer Services on 01784 419911 or email customer.services at cadline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found on our website, which is www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember that we are issuing tips and tricks for all Autodesk products, as well as the one you're about to watch. Okay, so we're going to just take a look at editing the wall profile um, within this tip and trick. Firstly, I'm going to select my wall. Now, the reason you probably want to edit your wall profile is because you may have some sort of decorative um, outline. You may have a certain line that you need to reach with your wall profile that isn't necessarily just a dead straight line. Now, the way we do this is I select my wall first of all and I click up at the top here, edit profile. So now we can see we've got a range of pink lines. Now, for me to try and edit this in a 3D mode is going to be quite tricky. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change to a more suitable elevation. So now we can see our wall head on. Now what I'm going to do is click on lines and I'm now going to continue to draw my profile. So if we go with something like that and perhaps we'll just bring in a different shape like so and we can add in just a few more points like so and all I'm going to do, I'm just going to now mirror that and select that from the center point, like so. And I'm now just going to trim these so they meet, and also so that, that meets. I'm now going to delete that line, as it must be a closed loop. Now, one thing I can do is I can put, for example, a circle in here. And if that does happen, in the same way when you edit a hole in a floor slab, this will create a hole for us. If I now click finish sketch and now look at that in 3D, we can now see the profile of our wall has now changed to suit the sketch that we created. If we want to remove the sketch from the wall, I can click on it and just click remove sketch. And that will now take it back to its original form. And that is how you can edit the profile of a wall within Revit. Thank you.